What's up friends, welcome back to another review where we find awesome things to simplify your life. I know we've been doing a lot of bad reviews lately and it must be boring. So today we're doing a studio tour. Specifically, telling you guys more about the desk setup because I've been getting a lot of requests asking how the desk works and what products I use to make the whole thing stick. So first of all, let's turn on the lights first because the studio actually doesn't look like this. In real life, you gotta turn on the lights! Okay, so that's with the lights on and this is the actual lighting because as you can see over there, we have the studio lights pointing at my face to make me look more cinematic. And just in case you're wondering, it is Claire behind the camera right now helping me film this entire video. Thanks Claire! So let's get this desk out of the way first. It's a electric standing desk. It is awesome, I use it for all my bag reviews. It's very convenient because I need all the different angles. Whoa, what are you doing? Oh, you filming my crush! <laughs> I thought I was supposed to follow the table! So awkward. Anyways, the point is not this table, it is this desk. So this is something that I got in the beginning of the year when I first started my studio. This is a desk by Husky and it's actually a workbench. And the good thing about this is that since it's a workbench, it's not categorized as an office desk. So it's a lot cheaper. And also, it uses a manual crank. Oh crap, it came off. So it's really awesome. I like this because you don't have to risk having an electric motor that might dial on you in a few years. As you can see over here, it uses casters. So that's really, really convenient when you're doing cable management. I can just pull that out like boom and then go under my desk and do all the cable management here because messy cables really frustrate me. For my monitor, I use an LG 27 inch 4K monitor that cost me quite a bit, but it's worth the investment because I'm not blind yet. So. To hold up my monitor, I actually use the Amazon Basics dual monitor mount. Also, I use the Amazon Basics laptop mount as well. They work very well together. And the important thing to note is that I had to move my monitor mount from the middle to the right side so that I can move this laptop monitor mount a lot more freely. Because before when it was in the middle, it was kind of stuck with the monitor and I couldn't move it forward anymore because it just didn't work out, trust me. So that's a hack right there and you're welcome. Anyways, besides that, I have my powerhouse over here, 13 inch MacBook Pro. I won't be able to make any videos without it and it served me well, although rendering time does take me a while. So hopefully in the future, I'll be able to upgrade to a Mac mini or something that can give me more processing power. And the thing that makes the whole look work are the lights. Behind here and here, we have the LifeX lights in these two lights. I like the LifeX lights because they are really bright, but they are really expensive. Is it worth it? For me, yes, because I use it for production and making videos. So in the long run, it does pay me back. And the thing is, without it, it kind of looks like this. Echo, turn desk off. Here, you see it's not really that exciting. And the thing is that I've been documenting how I made the studio since the beginning of the year. You can see when I first painted this wall and how I set up my studio lights and also how I set up the RGB strips on my desk. So you can just watch those videos. I'll link them down below. But Echo, turn desk on. Come back here and check it out. So in the back, it looks like this. It's actually not that pretty. But the key here is you want the lights facing the wall because that's how you get that really nice glow over here on the wall that you see. Because you never want to have these LED strips exposing directly to the camera because it's really bright and it's really not that aesthetically pleasing to the eye. But anyways, you can see my cable management here. Got some cable ties, it's important. And so over here, you will see that I have a Google Home Mini and an Alexa Dot. I personally really like Alexa a lot more because it just works a lot better and easier with Alexa skills than Google Assistant. But I have the Google Mini because the speakers are a lot better than the Alexa Dot. And I just um, have a lot of things. The next thing we'll go over is my keyboard. Over here I have my lap desk. It is by Sophia and Sam over here. You can get it on Amazon and by the way, everything is linked below. So if you want to support the channel, please use the links. I like using this setup because it works really well with my secret lab chair that I made a review on. Because when I work, I usually like to lean down so that my arms are ergonomically optimized. By pulling my monitor forward and tilting it, I really reduce my neck strain and my back strain over here so I can work many, many hours without getting up. 
and I really value ergonomics, so I got a Logitech Ergo Mouse. This has worked really well because in the past, when I use a mouse like this, I have to move my wrist a lot like this, and I found that it really hurt my wrist. And by switching to this mouse, I only have to move my thumbnail like this, and I've never felt that pain again. And the other thing is that, as you notice, it does not slip from my lap desk. Because it gets really frustrating using a mouse like this, because... Oh my gosh, I didn't even have to try this. It just falls down, and you can see your mouse fall down, and it's really annoying using a mouse like this, so... No. Really glad I got this. this. is a really good investment, although it's kind of pricey. Hello, darkness. Over here, I have my K810 keyboard from Logitech. It is a multi-Bluetooth syncing keyboard, and it's awesome because when I work, I actually don't use internet because I always find myself on the Amazon site for some reason, and it's not that productive. So I turn my internet off, and I only respond to things that get sent to my phone. Whenever I get messages, I switch the Bluetooth to my phone and reply there. But recently, on Black Friday, I have discovered this baby right here it is the logitech keys to go and it's super thin so whenever we get a reply i just type here boom boom, boom 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 and it's done i don't have to switch anymore and you know what it's all about efficiency and saving time i can see myself using this on my ipad especially when i'm traveling so i don't have to bring my laptop and i almost forgot the nice thing about this desk is that they actually have a bar down here that i can use as my footrest so this bar was initially over there and that's why i had my stool over here if you see my previous videos but now since i shifted it over here i conveniently use it as my footrest and it's a clean look and it works really really well it saves me like 20 bucks on the Amazon to buy a dedicated footrest and in my drawer I recently got this gridded thing it's really good for cable management yeah I put the cables that I use regularly over here and on Black Friday one of my best purchases was this label maker right here so if you want to be neat and organized this is your best friend and really there's nothing else to talk about my desk setup but the bonus over here is I want to go over my studio because this is a video for me as well because I want to see how this office evolves over time and I keep changing the setup every month or two so it's good to see progress over on this side I have my two studio lights I have my zoom microphone it's one of my best purchases it's very versatile so I love it and over here you see that I have this ghetto book stand it's to help this microphone stand taller so that it helps capture my voice a lot better and over here I have my Panasonic G85 and it served me very well in the past two years and right now I'm using the Sony a7 III which works a lot better in low light and I hope you guys noticed the difference in video quality because that camera really put a hole in my wallet and I hope it's actually worth it so there's at least three more back videos coming your way and you know what I really hope this review has helped you guys see beyond this one wall that we have here and really get to learn more about the video production part because I find this stuff really interesting and I'm obsessed about learning about filming and just how to communicate better so I hope you guys can see that through my videos that I've been making as well so comment below let me know what you think of all of this and what I should buy next to upgrade it even further or no, wait, wait, wait no I'm buying too much stuff don't tell me what to buy because you know what I will buy it and I will review it anyways this whole YouTube thing is really draining my bank account but you know what that's it for now guys thanks for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet do so and like the video and we'll see you in the next review bye <laughs> Wait, why are you guys still here? <laughs> that's the end theme song. Okay, that's enough. Bye. <laughs>